A callback is a function passed as an argument to another function. Look at the following examples. With this first example, you could call demo calculator function and store the result. As you can see line 18. And then call demo displayer function to display the result. As you can see line 19. As you can see. The problem with this first example is that you have to call two functions to display the result. In this second example, you call demo calculator function as you can see line 18. And let the demo calculator function call demo displayer function. The problem with the second example is that you cannot control the behavior of the demo displayer function. Look at the next example. In this example, by using a callback, you could call demo calculator function with a callback as you can see line 17. And let the demo calculator function run the callback after the calculation is finished. In this example, demo displayer is the name of a function. And demo displayer name is passed to demo calculator function as an argument. Look at the next example. In this example, you can see line 19 and 20. The callback implementation is more flexible than the second example's implementation. When you pass a function as an argument, remember not to use parentheses. When to use a callback? Callbacks are often used in asynchronous functions where one function has to wait for another function, such as waiting for a file to load. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.